So here's something interesting. According to the Experian Consumer Default Index, which measures the rolling debt default of South African consumers with home loans, vehicle loans, personal loans, credit cards, and retail loan accounts. As of the end of 2023, South African households had close to 2 trillion rand in outstanding debt, with 25.8 billion rand being in default. Something really concerning is happening. Experian also says that mid to high affluent customers who normally qualify for high-end credit products and home loans are finding it increasingly difficult to repay debt and continue to use their credit cards more than usual. There has also been a surge in debt review applications in South Africa, as higher affluence consumer groups are increasingly struggling to honor their debt commitments. In many instances, despite various avenues being available where consumers can seek assistance, households are avoiding it, leaving debt to spiral out of control. According to experts, consumer debt cannot be solely attributed to private sector financial products like loans and credit cards. Less than 45% of a consumer's monthly credit obligations come from credit agreements governed by the National Credit Act, the NCA. The debt owed to the public sector, including central government municipalities and government departments, exceeds that of debt due to financial and retail sectors. Collectively, South African households owed a mind-boggling 305 billion rand in arrears to local municipalities as of December 2022, as reported by the National Treasury. This greatly impacts service delivery and contributes to major challenges in maintenance and infrastructure development in our country. The ripple effect of these consumer pressures tends to cause more problems for a country as everything is interconnected. Unmanaged debt causes national problems affecting everyone. Delayed payments affect inflation, increasing costs for everyone. Both public and private sectors suffer losses, leading to higher prices and credit costs with taxpayers feeling the brunt of this burden as services start to suffer. Unpaid consumer debts cause macroeconomic hardships too. For instance, in the financial and retail sectors, debt recovery is crucial for businesses' survival as it affects assets and liabilities and can lead to insolvency and even liquidation. Now, why is this important? Stats South Africa reports that between January and November of 2022, 1,748 entities were liquidated in South Africa. Financial and retail sectors were hit the hardest. They made up 33%. More closures mean job losses and consumers struggling to repay, fueling the debt spiral. The other worrying trend is that salaries don't last as long in SA. I don't know if they do anywhere else. FNB estimates that it takes an average of five days for a middle income consumer to spend up to 80% of their monthly salaries. Actually, maybe drop a comment below and tell us how long your salary lasts for every single month. From the same report, we see that the average middle income South African consumer, earning between 180,000 and 500,000 per annum, survives on 20% of their total salary for more than 20 days in a month. In addition to this, salaried middle income consumers spend on average 30% of their income on unsecured credit like loans, etc and 35% on secured credit. So what can consumers change immediately when it comes to debt? Well, according to experts, people need to ask for help when they sense trouble. Many consumers though, often react impulsively when contacted by debt recovery practitioners, either by fighting or avoiding the offer of assistance. Debt recovery professionals are struggling to help South African consumers because it is a tough and depressed economy right now. But also a lack of financial literacy amongst consumers also compounds the debt recovery market challenges. Many individuals don't fully acknowledge the ramifications of not paying debt. The reality for you as a consumer is that unpaid debt can seriously limit future access to credit, affecting the ability to purchase essentials such as cars and homes. Negative credit records can even hinder employment prospects, leading to a ripple effect on individuals, businesses, and the broader economy. Younger consumers and those in the lower income bands are the ones who are more likely to be looking for better paying jobs. Younger consumers are also 1.5 times more likely to set a budget and stick to it. When asked why they haven't acted to relieve money stress, the majority of under 35 said that they feel stuck or even embarrassed about managing their money incorrectly. Those who are 45 and up said that they don't know who to trust or they wanted more time to think about it. The survey found that less than 15% of people with unsustainable monthly debt repayments actually take positive action. Well, by embracing a change in the relationship we have with debt, 
we can profoundly impact the payment culture amongst those who are indebted. People need to understand how debt affects them more intimately. Also, debt can sometimes be good. Good debts are generally money that you borrow in order to make more money. It is the type of debt that builds wealth over the long term, leaving you better off than you were before. But there are those who are changing their debt situation. The number of consumers successfully completing debt counseling has increased in South Africa more than sevenfold since 2016. In the second quarter of 2023 alone, consumers who received their clearance certificates paid back more than 450 million rands worth of debt to creditors. According to the South African Reserve Bank, they noted that due to the combination of greater debt and interest rates, the cost of servicing household debt as a percentage of nominal disposable income climbed from 7.5% in the third quarter of 2022 to 8.1% in the fourth quarter. Another thing to consider is that average consumer loan size has increased 78% since 2016 here in South Africa. That's the average cash sum that people are borrowing. Over time, what is becoming apparent about consumer debt in South Africa is that since 2016, unsecured debt was on average 26% higher than it is now. And it's also 39% up for those taking home 20,000 Rand or more a month. It is clear consumers are using unsecured debt to supplement their income. But it's also not all the fault of the consumers. Inflation is also one of the reasons people were borrowing to make ends meet. Even though nominal incomes are 1% higher than in 2016, cumulative inflation growth of 39% over the past seven years, ending in 2023, means that in real terms, people's spending power has diminished by 38%. To understand the pressure consumers are facing, consider what has happened to just the price of petrol and electricity since 2016. The petrol price has almost doubled and the cost of electricity has gone up 90% in this country. A consequence of people borrowing more to make it through the month is that they are spending more of their income to service debts and also plug holes. Yes, I know it's hard guys, but we surely have to start managing our debt a little bit better. No matter what you are trying to achieve as a consumer, debt and the ability to effectively gain access to cheap credit will either make or break your dreams and aspirations. So maybe use credit when you need it, but pay that money back as soon as possible so that you can have that option of getting access to more credit later on when you likely will need it most. Thank you for watching this video right until the end. I hope that this becomes the start of us all changing our relationship with debt. Please check out one of the other videos on the channel and I hope they'll be just as interesting. Cheers.